Yo, what's up guys? Yeah, Pokemon here with another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Wi-Fi battle. Now, if you guys missed any of my previous Wi-Fi battles, there's a playlist down below I encourage you to check out. But yeah, let's see what we're using today. Parasect Golem, Farfetch. I'm tired of Farfetch. I'm so tired of Farfetch. I like the rest of the team though. Um, I'm gonna replace Farfetch with some other bird. Of, uh, I'll make it Mega Pidgeot. Y'all go with that. I'm so Farfetch comes every single time and it does nothing. It does the same thing every single time. It dies. I'm making it Mega Pidgeot. But the rest, maybe a Lolan Muck and a Lolan Persian. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec with the battle. All right, guys. So we have our game. Um, Aerodactyl Charizard, Eevee, Dragonite, Kingler, and Raichu. Absolutely love uh, Starmie as a lead because it's the only thing that really just deals with Aerodactyl flat out. Um, I can pivot into. Well, that's Eevee, obviously not Pikachu. Okay, so Golem walls Raichu, which is awesome as well. And does get up rocks versus that. Golem is also going to be useful in helping me deal with Dragonite, ideally. With rocks up, Pidgeot doesn't really have switch ins. I have Hyper Beam on this one too, so I can blow away a few Pokemon. Alright, and it's Joey versus Joel. So if y'all didn't know, Joey is. Um, a nickname I've always had since a kid. Sometimes also people call me Joe as well. But Joel is like my government name, right? So it's interesting that I'm playing myself. Let's see how it goes though. It's off of Bubs. Is that the Aerodactyl? Dragonite. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, honestly, I, I do value this thing being weakened. However, can I beat Aerodactyl if this goes down? Because this is really good speed tier wise. Arrow becomes tough, but then Golem is only there to beat it. So I'm gonna Ice Beam here. Uh, they might go Eevee as a mid ground play. I don't know how well Eevee's gonna take this. Uh, but we do Ice Beam. If they go Kingler, I also have. Uh, Wes is the Eevee. Yep. Um, Eevee is okay. That's a good mid ground. But I don't know how well it takes this. Yeah, that's so strong. Oof. Oh, because I get a crit. That's why. Oh, that's bad. I'm gonna throw off a Psychic after because Psychic hits the majority of the team. I don't know if. The crit means I'll be able to knock him out with Psychic. It might. Like, that turn one crit is really bad. Alright. So, I missed out on the KO, and they're going to be able to paralyze me with Buzzy Buzz. Which is very smart. Um, obviously, Starmie being paralyzed here doesn't appreciate that. But Eevee being gone is great, too. I'll just follow up with another Ice Beam. There's no attack they can go for that should knock me out. I don't think Sappy C would knock me out. Unless they're, like, more physically based than special base. But it's okay, like, because they don't recover that turn yet. And Ice Beam picks up Eevee, as long as I don't get fully paralyzed. Let's see if I did. I don't. Uh, and that means we don't have to deal with this as fodder. Obviously, though, losing the fastest Pokemon out there versus my opponent's team isn't the best. However, between Aerodactyl and Charizard, they have to pick Tomega 1. And if they choose Charizard, then Aerodactyl is significantly less of a threat. Still a threat, but less. Obviously, though, Dragonite becomes a lot more scary, I feel. They might actually go out to Dragonite now and clear Earthquake. Or Aerodactyl. Both of which are good plays. Even Mega Evolving Charizard now I think might be a, a, dis, a decent play too. Just because you don't have to bring it in later on Rock. So they make the good play. Bring out Charizard. Uh, we're just going to Surf here. Is it disconnect? Where's the Wi-Fi? Okay, I was about to say, like, what's happening? We'll just Surf here. It's not really like any attack they can go for. Because anything they go for will knock me out. Flamethrower, even Ember <laughs> at that point would probably knock me out. Uh, they become Zard Y, which is interesting considering how good Golem is versus them, but um, like I would think you'd be Zard X because Zard X has more attack and can like Earthquake and whatnot, and Golem takes like every hit, so I actually do value Rocks as well. Yeah, I value Rocks a ton here. Uh, because there's Zard Y, I can probably pivot into Golem on this too, but I value Rocks because that Dragonite is a threat, so I need to be able to do at least some type of damage to it. Also Aerodactyl. And obviously dealing with this Pokemon too. I'm not sure if they're going to have like Solar Beam, but that is two turn moves, so that's okay. They might also burn me with Will-O-Wisp. They do switch out, great. So we're being able to get that 50% off on that, which is awesome. As they go Kingler. Eugene. <laughs> Eugene Crabs, I love it. That is sick. I love it, I love it. That's awesome. Anyway, Rock Supper, great for Charizard, Aerodactyl, Dragonite. Um... I think that Parasect is a fair play, considering it can uh, basically 
live one hit outside of maybe X. I, don't, I don't know if rock scissor, uh, rock slide or x scissor will 2 a ko me um what i'm mainly thinking about is crab hammer into one of those attacks might 2 a ko me um that did so much so i think x scissor might actually ko me right here but either way we'll go for spore just in case they can't as they go for rock slide this might ko me Woo! parasect living on four percent let's see if it gets flinched it doesn't as well so i'm able to get off a spore on kingler that's awesome because that's something that always forced out my golem and what I'm going to do here is just go for the, uh, the Mega Drain. I don't want them to try and stay in and wake up. Uh, with Kingler, if it switches out, it hasn't burnt any turns of sleep, which means that I'll have always, I'll always have one free turn versus it. So they could go Charizard now, but honestly, they should also fear me breaking Sleep Claws because this is online, so, you know, um, that's something I can do. I think that's Aerodactyl? Oh, that's Raichu. All right. I don't mind Raichu coming in and taking just a little bit of damage. Especially because my Persian's foul play is really good as well. And Brick Break should not be able to knock me out. So I'm going to go for the Leech Life here. I die to rocks, I believe. Oh, I'm really close to dying to rocks. If not, I do. I, I think I wasn't. Like, Thunderbolt definitely knocks me out, but... That's okay. Uh, the main thing I want to do now is I want to Mega Evolve my... Um, I want to Mega Evolve my Pidgeot. So what I'm gonna do is I am definitely gonna be faster. I'm gonna go out to Pidgeot. I'm gonna Mega Evolve in just U-turn just to put them in range of, uh, oh, I brought the wrong one. Actually, no, that's fine. This isn't my shiny one. But my shiny one doesn't have Hyper Beam, so I, I still wanna keep it, but I can Mega Evolve in U-turn. Uh, Mega Evolve in U-turn puts them in range of Foul Play, but like the important thing is I um, I get the, the buffs that Mega Pidgeot has. Um, which will obviously allow me to outspeed them and if I'm not mistaken just be bulkier yeah I, I want to be bulkier I get more defense and more special defense so that might be useful for switching in on something so we get that u-turn off there I'm gonna make the muck play because I think that muck is most expendable I want to keep golem alive just for dragonite because uh, dragonite is a giant problem so is aerodactyl but I, again I have that uh, that that foul play on as they go for thunder woof that is gonna hurt that hurt they didn't get the para though which is nice I don't like being obviously don't like being paralyzed and um, they might save this uh, this Raichu just because it can deal with Pidgeot maybe and they might go maybe Dragonite but if they go Dragonite I'm able to get off a crunch and I'll put them in range of foul play uh, again the the game what I want from my opponent is for them to sack their Aerodactyl they could also go Kingler as a mid ground Oh, they go Aerodactyl. Great. So this is something I want because Aerodactyl is just annoying for me to switch into. I shouldn't die to an Earthquake from a regular Aerodactyl. And obviously Crunch does to a KO. So I'm going for another Crunch here. I'm 100% going for another Crunch. As they go for Earthquake. This should not knock me out at 122 HP. Aer Aerodactyl is a lot weaker than Mega Arrow. Yeah, I, even though I barely survived that, I knew I would. So we get rid of Aerodactyl, that's awesome in terms of speed tiers, because now my Mega Pidgeot outspeeds my opponent's entire team, outside of like an agility from either Raichu or Dragonite, which I think Dragonite will come out now. Um, another option is obviously Charizard, but I do think Dragonite is one that might... They go Raichu. Hmm. So, I mean Crunch is fine. Like, they're going to knock me out with Thunderbolt. I, I, I'm going to keep Golem again. I'm going to keep Golem in the back. Because I think that Golem is necessary in terms of winning. Right? I think in terms of winning, Golem is necessary. Because Golem deals with the... Um, I, I'm also going out to this because I can foul play. But Golem deals with the, the Charizard and the Dragonite. And then Pidgeot cleans up in the late game. We're just gonna foul play here. Foul play should be able to knock out Raichu. It's stab. Uh, it's stab. It's based on you know Raichu's attacks that as well. And again, it gets the stab boost, so we knock it out. Um, I also believe I don't let Dragonite come in freely as well by just going for another uh, another rock slide. I'm basically trying to go towards the end game of my. Um, I'm basically trying to go towards the end game of my uh, my Pidgeot winning the game. So Charger comes out. We're just foul play, which will two it KO them. I don't have to taunt because I doubt they're going to roost. I think they're going to flamethrower here. Maybe they'll will-o-wisp, but if they do, I can taunt them after anyway. But yeah, foul play should 2 a KO. 
Oh, I barely missed it out on the KO, which is awesome. Like, like, I mean, like, it's awesome to think that Persian is that strong. Unfortunately, my opponent is going to, uh... Unfortunately, my opponent is going to get the burn on me, so I don't like that very much. Hmm. I'm trying to think, what's the best way to do this? Because I, I... You guys remember, every single time I tried to use Pidgeot, I tried to use Hyper Beam, and it never worked. Right? I tried to use Hyper Beam, and it never worked. And then... I don't want this to be one of those days, though. I, I Like, if I go for Hyper Beam, I want it to work. I think I bring out Pidgey here. Come on, dude. Why'd you disconnect? What? Anyway, uh, my opponent ends up disconnecting there. I'm not sure why, but what I would have done was uh, went Pidgey and Air Slash. That knocks them out. If they go Dragonite, uh, I U-turn. And after I U-turn on Dragonite, I bring out Golem. The reason I U-turn is because if they go for right for Outrage, um, it'll 2 kill Golem. But then I'm able to go out to Pidgeot. This is how the ending game would have been. I would have been able to go out to Pidgeot. Hyper Beam knocks them out. I have to wait my one turn, but because Kingler has not burnt a turn of sleep yet, uh, it would not have woken up. I still would have been in full, and then I would have Hyper Beamed again. And I would have gotten two KOs with Hyper Beam. That's how that game would have been. That really, really, really sucks. That really sucks that they disconnected there. But oh well, it is what it is. Uh, I'll look for another game, though. That, that, I mean, that... Really dampens my mood. Why did you do that, Joel? Huh? Or Joel? Or Joel? I'm just saying all the ways people pronounce my name. <laughs> Why? I, I just want to know, man. All I want to do is play Pokemon. Ah, that's okay. I mean, I don't mind running, though. I, I really don't like if you if you got if you got to go or whatever. That's fine. I and mean, even this, like the ladder, doesn't matter. So, oh, well, it is what it is. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I see three Mewtwo's and a Mew. All right, if only I had three million mucks. However, I love Persian in this. I love the ability to spam foul play. I, I'm, I'm gonna hope that I have a million mucks when I'm actually playing. Let's let's see. How, this is gonna be an L. This is gonna be a really swift L. But yeah, can y'all blame me? Look what my opponent has. Look what my opponent has. What can I do? I don't know. I, 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 it's three Mewtwo's a Mew, and then a Snorlax. Like you have, so, you have a few of the best Pokemon in the format, and then you also have a Blastoise, which is good too. But not anything amazing. Uh, let's see if we can at least get a W. We are one and zero right now, so let's see if we can get a, the nice two and zero. Um, I don't mind Mew being the lead. In fact, you know, what? if I can prevent rocks, I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna go for Taunt on my Persian, anticipating them to want to get up Stealth Rock or Will O Wisp. They could U-turn themselves as well. Like, rocks make sense versus me. What? We're level 100. Oh, I just realized that. I didn't even realize the levels were off. Wow, that does so much damage. I'm level 50 and they're level 100. Hey, y'all think I can win this? I might as well try it. Like, I can run. That's doing a lot. That's doing a lot. Let's see how much this does. This is this is based on their attack, not even my stats. So that doesn't even matter. Woof! That they are candied. All right, we're gonna run from here. I didn't realize what level we were. <laughs> I just automatically assumed level fifty all. <laughs> that is a candied Mew, by the way. I want to let you know that. I, I I did not. I mean, I could do a can. You guys want to see me do a? I'm not a big fan of candy battles online because you have 20 minutes and a lot of the Pokemon are bulky. Like, look at my my level 50 Persian was able to take two hits from a level 100 Pokemon. That should give you an that Pokemon was candy too. That should give you an idea of like how uh, how bulky candy Pokemon are. They are a threat, and we have 20 minutes to deal with them. Oof, way too little. All right, let's see let's see how this goes now. See, I ran. I didn't disconnect because there's no point. My boy Shady is that Shady Penguin? That's not Jonathan. There's no way. Did I pick no restrictions? Is that what it was? Or they picked it? Ooh, super cool team. Very cool team indeed. Tauros, Mew, Zapdos, Aerodactyl, Snorlax, and Venusaur. This is going to be a tough one. Pidgeot has a good speed tier though. With Rocks up, it's really nice. I th think I want to go the...
Are they gonna Mega Venusaur or Mega Aerodactyl? That's the thing. I really think Starmie's a great lead. The only thing he really doesn't like is Mew, um, which is a very possible lead, but outside of that, it's just, it's really nice. Like, it's very nice versus my opponent's team. If they lead off Aerodactyl, I can get a KO immediately. Like, they might just be Rock's Aerodactyl plus, um, plus Mega Venusaur. Obviously, they both have the option of Mega. Uh, the only thing that Mew, uh, that Starmie doesn't like that I don't switch into as well is Mew, which is a, a very viable lead on my opponent's part. It's Mew, obviously. It's one of the best Pokemon as well in the format. Oh, that's Mew. Unfortunately. Uh, I do value damage on this thing, though, especially for Pidgeot. Like, Pidgeot knocks out Zapdos with... Pidgeot knocks out Zapdos with, um... With Hyper Beam after Rock, so I do value damage on this, too. That's some good damage, too. That looks like a 3 KO. As they just get up Stealth Rock, I'm okay with that. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna Stealth Rock to U-Turn. That makes a lot of sense, too. Like, this is kind of why I love for Persian in the last game, but I still think that going for uh, Surf is fine in terms of just weakening Mew. I don't know if they have uh, Soft Boiled or... Okay, they're just Thunderbolt. That's cool. Didn't paralyze me? Nice. So I'm going to be able to 3 KO Mew here. Uh, they may end up going Venusaur instead of staying in, but... Like, I, I get so much out of KOing Mew. Yeah, exactly. Like, I didn't want to predict that and go for Ice Beam, because Ice Beam wouldn't KO. And obviously, Psychic... Obviously, Ice Beam and Psychic would be able to take out uh, a Venusaur, but I just value Mew being gone, especially with will o -Wisp and my team being a lot of the Pokemon physical. It makes sense. I, I thought, anyway. So they can go Zapdos now, most likely. Yep. Um, because... Because U-Turn more than likely knocks me out, they I don't think they have very much to not go for, like, any reason. So I'm just going to go for Ice Beam here. Um, I don't think Starmie comes in on very much of my opponent's team and getting some damage on this is really nice, nice because it means I don't have to get rocks up. They actually end up going for Thunderbolt. Surprisingly, like I thought like, U-Turn would be able to knock me out and that Golem was a little bit obvious, but uh, at least now this gives me Golem myself and that allows me to get up Stealth Rock. Um, so both Crippling, uh, Zapdos as well as Aerodactyl. Crippling, Zapdos as well as Aerodactyl. So they get up Stealth Rocker. Uh, they made Toxic. They actually do just U-Turn. Nice. So they're going to be coming in at about 25%, which means I don't even have to Hyper Beam with Pidgeot. I can just go for uh, Air Slash and a Heat Wave or something. Like, if they just come in, I can just Heat Wave. I'm pretty sure. So I'm glad with Mew being gone. Um, Bioshock is their Venusaur. Unfortunately, because they do have Aerodactyl and Rocks are up, and they do have a Venusaur, so I can't really spam Spore. And even Zapdos could potentially have Drill Pack. I do think that Parasect is going to be sacked here. I think it makes the most sense for me in terms of like moves to make here. Um, my Persian's still pretty good because it can foul play the Tauros, and that will allow me to Akio it if he's going for Double Edge. So I think that Parasect is worth it, or worth sacking. Yeah, and they're more than likely just going to go for Sludge Bomb, but like in some. Let's say some scenario where they're actually not Sludge Bomb Venusaur, where they're Mega Drain, Leech Seed, Protect, and Synthesis. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to die right here to Sludge Bomb. It doesn't matter. And there it is. Goodbye. Mmm. So Pidgeot's my only play. Um... Just gonna Mega Evolve and go for Air Slash. It looks like because they didn't Mega Evolve their Venusaur, they are Mega Evolving their Aerodactyl. So very, very, very threatening indeed. Uh, and the issue here is that I always have to attack with Pidgeot. I can't U-turn because even if they go Snorlax, they just switch out anyway. I, I'm gonna be really... I'm really scared of the Aerodactyl, I'll be honest. I'm also really scared of this, uh, this Venusaur too. And this is a tough one. This is like based on what I have. I don't switch into Aerodactyl very well. Like, I didn't pick bulky water Starmie, I picked offensive Starmie. Horn Beast is Tauros, is not. Surprised I came in. Um, I, I'm very surprised I came in. I, I think this will be too akio would Mega Pidgeot has a really... It, it's strong. It's also thick, look at it. Let's see if I 2 akio you. And Tauros doesn't have the best yeah, special defense, uh, special defense stat. So Air Slash again. 2 akio Tauros, nice. Thank you for landing. Hey, okay, that's that's a little bit uh, less 
um, pressure on my uh, my golem, I would say, uh, because golem is here to wall this, to wall, to hopefully deal Aerodactyl, and to also deal with Zapdos. I don't mind them going out to Zapdos now too. They should go Aerodactyl though. Yep, that's basically the freest turn to, uh, to Mega Evolve your arrow. Them having Snorlax is so threatening too. I'm gonna make the. Uh, I mean, so the thing about the golem play is I can lose it immediately. I can lose the game immediately. But I need I need all these Pokemon alive. So ideally they go for Rock Slide and not Earthquake. Because I need Golem to be able to take Rock Slide plus Earthquake. And then I know that I, I don't think a Rock Slide back will knock out Arrow. But it should put them in range of... Um, it should put them in range of at least Foul Play for my Persian, which is very important. I just, I'm so worried about that Snorlax too. I don't know how I'm going to deal with it. They just go for rock slide, nice. Um, please live, Earthquake Golem, I need you to. And the thing is, they don't even have to stay in if they don't want to. They can just go right out into Venusaur. But that's why I kept Muck in the back as a, a sort of like safety pin. Like to help me out in a pinch. Earthquake is going to do a lot if not KO me though. I don't know, Mega Arrow is really strong. But what, best case scenario for me, they go for Earthquake, they don't knock me out, I land my Rock Slide, I either knock them out or I bring them really close to rocks. And then my, uh, my Pidgeot basically takes it from there. Also decent for me would be them going Snorlax here. And then I get the Rock Slide damage off into Explosion. Alright, let's see. Alright, it lived. This is best case scenario. Worst case is I missed this. I didn't. Ooh, and that KOs. Thank you, Golem, for being really strong. So getting rid of Aerodactyl is so huge. It's absolutely huge for me. Um, because that's something I did not like to switch into at all. That's awesome. That's sick. Okay, so this is still possible. Uh, still a little bit tough. Obviously, Venusaur being a little bit problematic. Um, they might Leech Seed. I'm just going to click Explosion. Yeah, they Mega Drain. So, them going for Mega Drain means um, I can go Pidgeot and click Air Slash. And Pidgeot's Air Slash into U turn into like Crunch, I think, should be able to deal. Like Crunch from Muck, I'm talking about Muck, because I'm assuming they're going to go Snorlax. Uh, but Pidgeot's Air Slash into U turn into a couple crunches from Muck should ideally be able to deal with this. Um, I'm also okay if Pidgeot dies here, like if Air Slash doesn't KO them and they knock me out with Sludge Bomb, which I don't even think will KO me at that point. Let's go. If they go Zapdos, I do outspeed it. They stay in. And Pidgeot actually connects this time. And I say that because there was a time, there was a point where Pidgeot was just not connecting. I get a crit. I don't know the calc on that. I don't know if it mattered. It's obviously super effective, but... Oof. That's big. So getting rid of Venusaur means I don't have to deal with that. Zapdos might come out now. Um, They could also go Snorlax. They could go Snorlax. But I think that if they go Snorlax, I actually might Hyper Beam them. Hmm. Just for a little bit of damage. Uh, if they go Zapdos, I'm definitely Hyper Beaming too. Look at Pidgeot. Pidgeot making a name for itself once again. I appreciate you, Pidgeot. Pidgeot looks like it tastes good on Dance Given. I'll be real. Like this. I mean, it's not a turkey, but this is a turkey. Like this, this is a bird. All right, there's Snorlax. Um, I think I value just going for Hyper Beam. Actually, I believe I'll live a hit. Let me Air Slash first into Hyper Beam. Because I think I'll live a Facade and even a Body Slam. Because it's decently bulky. Yep. And now we'll finish, well not finish them off, but we'll do a lot. Oh, dude, I've never hit a Hyper Beam. And Pidgeot manages to do it. I finally get the screenshot of Pidgeot's Hyper Beam. Oh, that did so much too. That did so much. Woo! Hey. Hyper Beam Pidgeot. Let's go. Hey, Pidgeot did his job. So now we go out to Persian and we click Foul Play. And the reason we go Persian over Muck is because while Muck is faster, Persian has Foul Play and Taunt. So I can taunt the Zapdos, preventing it from roosting. And meaning that I just click Toxic and I win the game with Muck. So. Nice. Let's go right for that Foul Play. Like, I mean, Foul Play might actually just be able to knock out Zapdos in general because it's based on Zapdos' attack, and Zapdos has pretty high attack considering it's a legendary Pokemon. Hey. 
I'm glad, I'm glad that actually, I, yo, I'm glad Pidgeot actually pulled through. For those that have been watching like the entire time since Let's Go came out, y'all know what I'm talking about when that Pidgeot just does not like to land. So now we just go right for the taunt, and then we go for double foul play to win, or maybe even one foul play, but like I said, we basically taunt because we do not allow our, our opponent to roost. Yep. And this is giving us uh, the highest chance of victory. And like I said, this might just KO. Hey, Persian coming through as well. Well, that's the end of that game. Um, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. You guys can check out the playlist down below if you guys did enjoy this Wi-Fi battle. I will see you guys next time. Have yourself a good one. And above all else, keep a shit. No, okay, I'm not going to put Shady's outro on this. But I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.